So two months ago, I made my first $1,000 selling Notion templates on Gumroad. And as of today, the date I'm recording, this is the 16th of Jan, I have reached $3,627 on Gumroad. I'll try and show you that. So in this video, I want to give you an honest look about how I made my first $1,000 from the perspective of someone who's still quite new to all of this. And hopefully by doing so, I'll give you an idea of how you might achieve this yourself. Step one, pick a niche I was an expert in already. So it's almost become a bit of a cliche at this point, but an important tip for uh, creating uh, Notion templates is to choose a niche. Um, now, the template market is uh, overcrowded. And so I do see this as a necessity if you want to um, see some success uh, with uh, selling Notion templates. If you want to see an example of someone who's doing this really well, you should check out Milo's Notion for Teachers website and market um, and his um, templates on the marketplaces, um, as that's a really good example of someone who is uh, stuck to a uh, Notion template niche. Now, my addition to this is to pick a niche you're already an expert in. So I think as Notion template creators, we tend to all kind of be productivity nerds. And so a lot of us gravitate towards uh, creating uh, Notion systems for general productivity. But there's a lot of productivity gurus already out there. So I suggest trying to see if there's any other sort of niches that you're already an expert in that you can dive into right now as of today. For me, I studied filmmaking and creative writing at university, both in London and in Leeds. And I've got a first class degree in creative writing and I've worked on multiple professional sets as well as um, writing and directing my own films and scripts. So I'm not an expert in screenwriting by any stretch of the imagination, but I do have a lot of knowledge about what screenwriting is, how you do it. Um, and particularly what the process looks like when you're trying to plan and write a script. Because of that, I made a line of um, uh, templates for uh, screenwriters. Um, and so my strategy was I made a sort of premium template that I called Notion for screenwriters. Uh, and then I broke that um, premium template down into smaller versions. So I had one for the screenplay planner. I had the habit tracker. I had a brainstorming tool for writers. Uh, and what I did is I took the smaller broken down versions of the templates and offered them for free. Uh, and what they became was sort of lead magnets to the premium template Notion for screenwriters. I also launched all of these templates onto the Notion official template gallery. And that's where I saw uh, the majority of my traffic coming from. Uh, and with these, uh, with this niche and this strategy of lead magnets and the Notion gallery, um, I was able to reach my first uh, $5,000. In terms of timeline, this did take a bit of time. I think I launched Notion for Screenwriters potentially in July or August of last year. And then I only reached that 500 mark even in October of 2022. Step two, pick a more profitable niche. So once I had uh, started to see that I could use this formula of creating a niche, creating these uh, sort of lead magnets and for it to actually work in terms of generating sales, uh, I decided to see if there was any other niches um, that would be more profitable. And this entire time as I had been uh, creating templates, I'd also been offering my services as a Notion consultant. Uh, and in the start, I was offering it to anyone who would have me. But uh, as the months went on, I began to niche down to uh, offering my consulting services to agencies. What this meant was I was slowly becoming a expert in agencies who needed Notion solutions, what they looked like, what processes did they need, um, and what sort of solutions they wanted. Because of this, I decided to launch my next premium template, which was Notion for agencies. And I used the same strategy in that I created the premium template all in one and then broke it down into smaller parts that I sell for free as lead magnets uh, in the form of a client portal, a company wiki, and a CRM. What was great about this is that I was being paid to create these solutions for clients already and I was making the Notion for Agency template alongside my clients. So I was being paid to make the template. Another added benefit is that um, each of the different dashboards and solutions I was creating had been used by real world clients. They had been road tested with um, different revisions. And so I knew uh, that what I was creating um, was good to go. 
At this point, the next strategy I took full advantage of was email marketing. And that's something that I think a lot of newer Notion creators completely overlook. So even though in the first round when I was creating templates for screenwriters and I was creating those lead magnets and collecting all of those really useful emails, uh, I didn't think to actually use the emails to uh, send out email marketing. This time around I did. And so I was uh, collecting all of these emails for these, um, these free templates. And then I had a workflow or, or email campaign that I would then send out automatically through Gumroad um, that would basically market the premium template Notion for Agencies. Now, Notion for Agencies really did very well. Um, I published it to the Notion Gallery again, did the email marketing with the freebies. And I think in the first month I made more than a thousand pounds. So I hit that a thousand dollar milestone and went over it within the first month of it being launched. Um, which was amazing. Uh, and I think it proved to me um, that email marketing was very important in that sort of formula, along with the Notion Gallery and creating lead magnets. Um, but also the fact that I was now charging for the template starting at 30, I then put it all the way up to $50. Uh, dollars and so every time i was getting a sale it was a big push up to that a thousand dollar milestone step number three be an archaeologist not an architect now this is sort of a two-step process where i've said choose a niche that you're expert in already and then essentially try and become an expert in a more profitable niche uh, that you can. But I'm currently at the stage where I'm still interested in creating a line of templates for screenwriters, writers, filmmakers. Um, and so I haven't completely abandoned uh, that niche. And all of this is to say that I think, although we put a lot of focus on niches and I think they're very, very important in the template creator community, I don't think you have to just pick one niche, double down on it and only go for that. I like Ali Abdul's approach and he does this for YouTube videos or YouTube channels. Um, but the idea is, is that you can be an archeologist instead of an architect. So what does this mean? A architect um, is someone who would lay the foundations and create the blueprint and know exactly step-by-step step the plan ahead for how they're going to uh, sort of create the building. Um, whereas an archaeologist is someone who has a general sense of the location they want to be in, but they're going to dig around in different places and basically only start to dig and commit to one place once they've seen signs of life. Um, so I've sort of taken this approach. I did the notion for screenwriters template as a sort of trial run because I was interested in it. I was already an expert. So I'm still being an archaeologist, even though I've still um, had lots of success with the agency template. I still think I could find some success with the um, writing templates. Um, so yeah, that's just to say that I think you should still think about niches and think about marketing your, your content and your templates in niches. But it's not to say that you can't be an archaeologist and look for different opportunities uh, wherever they may be. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, I've linked down below to my premium template Notion for Agencies, just so you can get an idea of uh, what was in it and what the features are and how I marketed it. Um, and if you found this video useful, please do consider giving it a like and subscribing the, to the channel for more. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.